Twined, it's beautiful. And me, uh, our board Thank up. Thrift store. <laughs> yeah, and and remember I was yeah. telling you about uh, Mia, our board up. Oh yeah, yeah. She's down there now. She left oh, the board. Yeah. yeah, because Rob came, they switched, and she's down there checking you out now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just walked outside. I said, oh, let me go back in there now. Yeah, and I'm done. Say, I am so glad that I banged into you today. Well, I appreciate it. I, I thank you for your business. And so have do you just have, have winter like stuff, is it, or is it like all different seasons? Oh, it's different seasons. We have, you know, some of the um, so, summer stuff, and then we have the winter stuff. And uh, we have getting new arrivals in every day. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you got summer stuff, now is the time to buy. And then, like, in a couple yeah. of months, you got, like, a whole new wardrobe that costs hardly anything when everyone else is paying full price. Right. Exactly. In fact, you could buy all your winter items now and save it for next year. You're paying, like, maybe $3 for hats, and, and you got gloves and scarves and everything. And I, I'd be time. wearing it right. I, I'd have to go to the mountains so I could wear my new stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I don't even worry I, about it. Wear, wear it now. <laughs> Over yet. Yeah, I'm a woman. I can't wait to wear anything. <laughs> and you know what, Elaine? Talking about the hats, uh, I didn't. Uh, I was running out of time. But on the back shelf there, by the registers, where you have the little hats, do you yeah. still have that black and gray? I mean, the white and gray checkered little beanie. I'll pull it for you. Thank you, darling, because I want to try that one on. I have a lot of those hats, but I don't have that color. And, you know, that's going to look cute with that black coat that I bought from you. Hey, hey, hey. (laughs) Right? Hats and scarves are really becoming popular this winter. Yes. And, um, Elaine, why we got you, honey, can you bump out your phone number, please? Okay, our phone number is 909-884-3070. One more time. That's 909-884-3070. Thank you. And guess what? Next week when I'm back in this neck of the woods, guess who you're going to see? We've got to have coffee together. Okay. That's what I'm saying. We've got Starbucks right across the street. <laughs> yes. And, Elaine, thank you so much. Happy New Year's to you. I am going to tell the rest of the ladies, and uh, I think everybody's going to be happy, happy. Well, thank you for your service. You're welcome, honey, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, she is such a nice lady. She really is. And the, the, the store is set up so easy to maneuver. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's really and you, cool. And, and it's those kind of stores, you can find an outfit that isn't like just some other generic outfit. I go mm-hmm. through some of these stores, and I look at the clothes on the rack, and it's just like, it's nothing special. Mm-hmm. It just like it all looks the same to me, and I, you know, I want to look special. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, I want to like, have something yeah. original. Yeah, and when you know? Maria got here, I was telling Maria about it. She has to go down to this. I could not believe this. So she had some like really interesting. Oh, different yeah. Kinds of no, things. we're gonna have to go down there. Yeah, yes. I, I'm wanting to go down there. Now too. It, it's it's absolutely not. Uh, uh, I'm not going to tell it anymore. You just got to go down there. You know, and okay. it's right here at this mall, right? Right here, right here at the Carousel Mall. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. right down the way from us. Okay. I'm yeah, gonna, just I'm skip and a hop out. and a jump. Right after the show, we're going. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, everybody. Yeah, Rainbow better be prepared. We're coming. <laughs> okay, now to get back to the foodie while we're, and we're still waiting for Mr. Jesse to I call I had it. some gluten-free cookies, too, and I forgot them. <laughs> I'm so mad. Where are they? They're at home. Save them for tomorrow. <laughs> Drive up to the house tomorrow, and we'll have a, a cookies and coffee. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. You, Marie, nice you want to come over for cookies and coffee tomorrow? Oh, oh it's Saturday. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Temple. Yeah, we, I, I'm swamped Saturday, so I, there's... Uh, Saturday is one of your biggest days. Uh, one, <laughs> yeah. 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 We see over 100 people a day uh, on Saturdays, really? every Saturday. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's amazing! Yeah, it's it's crazy. I, I'm thrilled that people are because one of the one of the things I just wanted to go back to. I don't know if people realize this, but I love what you said about treating the whole person, even if they just hurt their pinky, because yeah. uh, a lot of that is a- actually like Chinese principles too, which you probably know. Absolutely. And, and you know, it's like you don't just treat one part because they're all connected. Exactly. 
and went one's blocked it, yeah because it weakens the rest right uh, and and like like I said you know if you come in for uh, because you have a sprained pinky well, the whole body heals the pinky not the pinky heals itself mm-hmm. it does but uh, it also needs help from the whole entire body so yeah. so that's why we treat the whole body and so one blockage in the endocrine system or a weakness like in the endocrine system with your hormones and that could actually be affecting your respiratory system, your right. immune system, exactly. digestive system, your circulatory glands, system, your brain. Well, we've had people with uh, MS and uh, stroke victims come in and within the first, after the first treatment, they have a mobility back and uh, they have a better sense of balance. And I actually oh seen gosh. this with my own eyes. Yes. What do yes. your doctors say after they come to you? <laughs> well, originally people tell their doctors about it, and naturally right away the doctor is going to poo-poo the idea. Oh, yeah. Then it's all about... We want your money. <laughs> yeah. Who are those people you're seeing again? Let me see their card. And then it's all about, well, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. So we're okay, getting that's doctors... That's good to hear. Yeah, we're getting doctors' blessings. In fact, we treat several doctors. So now and, they're and like, their hey, families. I want to go there. Right. And, <laughs> and, you know, now that is one stamp of approval. That's is right. one a doctor that you go to and they're going, oh, gee, George, I don't know. And, they, and you go and they go, oh. And then they go, that's a stamp of approval. There you go. Yes. I, you know, you, you can't get better than that. Right. And we're actually uh, planning on teaching uh, the coming year. And we actually have a few doctors that are um, ready to take the course so I'm very excited about that because now you know um, the professional uh, uh, arena is going to get involved and it's going to help a lot of people yes yeah I've already had blessings from Dr. Oz he did a segment on magnetic therapy okay yeah so. and that's uh, and that isn't that called a promotora yeah. You, you, a what? A what? A oh, so, yeah, Okay. Was, Say that three times. <laughs> <laughs> it's where it's where the teacher um, teaches other people to kind of to carry on their teaching. So it, it's I, not just keeping it with one person. And right. that's very generous right. of you. Yeah. Well, you know, it is it, um, it is a, a technique that is very uh, advanced and can help thousands of people. So, you know, it would be selfish of me to keep it to myself. Um, mm-hmm. to, to, uh, to keep that little secret of yours, huh? Yeah, so I'm going to uh, exploit it. <laughs> There you or go. allowed people to exploit it. Well, at least charge them a good a, a good chunk of money to come and learn from you. <laughs> and, and talking about this, I, I'm glad everybody is together today because this show is really important. We're telling everybody how to get themselves ready for the new year, right? Now, there's one big question that I'm going to ask everybody. I will ask myself first and then go on down the line, and you'll have a time to think about the answer, okay? The three most ridiculous things that people do in the beginning of a new year. My number one is when people make resolutions. If you say you're going to do this, that, and the other thing, you know what? Forget it. You ain't doing it. Don't make the stupid resolution. Just do it, right? Okay, Marie. What's what's your idea about getting ready for the new year? Well, one of the things that I'm uh, telling everybody right now is is uh, balance your pH, um, uh, strengthen your immune system, and get energized because the new year it's a special year and and it's time for us to to uh, uh, enjoy the new year mm-hmm. and be healthy and and uh, strong. There you go, Elaine. Well, I would think that uh, a lot of people, they, they set themselves up for failure uh, in the goals that they set. You know, like, set like you so said, the, the resolutions, yeah. um, I, I, I do agree with that, and I think that they set unachievable goals, and they expect they're going to achieve them in too short of a period of time. Mm-hmm. And like what we, we do on Smart Health Talk, which we have on our homepage, um, they're, they're, resolu- they're lifestyle resolutions because uh, what you have to do, do is just change how you do everything really in your life if you want to get healthier because most of us we don't realize how much it's just habit 
mm-hmm. on what we're doing. And so if you just set small achievable goals and work towards those first, don't expect too much. If you slide back a little bit, don't be hard on yourself. Just try again because the people that keep trying are the ones that succeed, those that try and fail and try and fail. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you will get there. But uh, I I love what Marie says about, you know, finding the core of the problem and not putting a Band-Aid on things. And that's what what we're about. We're looking to find the core because usually it's – um, it is these hardcore behaviors that we grew up, you mm-hmm. know. My my grandma made fried chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy and pies and, you know, we we would eat like that all the time. But if I ate that way right now, I would be I would be huge. And that's what yeah. happened to my grandmother, and she died at a very young age. Because she, of that. she could have lived a lot longer. She was overweight, and they they grew up on the farm. Mm-hmm. And you used to burn those calories when you cook like that, but. People are are being sedentary, sitting in front of the TV and doing video games. So that just doesn't work anymore, and you have to accept that, and you have to deal with it. You have to make those kind of changes. So I just want people to be successful and just make small goals to start off, and that's all. And, Don, what is uh, your uh, thing for the new year? Well, I'm going to keep it simple, keep it real. Uh, I'm going to try not to gain any more weight. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Either. Either. You know, yeah, I'm not trying to lose it because that don't happen. So if I just try not to <laughs> gain any more, we'll be okay. Right, and and that's it. And remember, we're still in the holiday season. You know, and a, a while back, you and I mentioned this. What's about three or four shows ago, or something, right? Don't worry about it now. We're still in the holiday season, right? If you want to do something, now think logically here, especially for the guys. Think like a female. It took, you're pregnant, it takes nine months to get to that point to have that child, and it's going to take you nine months to lose the weight, right? You're on a holiday, so you have that extra cookie or whatever. You know, ease up, like you were saying, Elaine. Ease up on yourself. Then, smart, talk to Maria, go to her immediately, if not sooner, and then get a hold of Elaine here, the smart Food lady over here. You can email me yeah, anytime. There you go. At Smart Health Talk. And then, and then and then start. But do the goals little. You know, like that. Remember when we were children? That story about the little train and it's going up the, the hill. <laughs> and I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And he's getting higher and higher. I think I can. And then he's coming down the hill and he's going. I know I could. I know I could. There you go. Well, I just, I, ha- I just had a relative that um, she went on. The, oh, sorry, she went on the Atkins diet, and it was like you know, quickly dropped 16 pounds. And for me, that as a dietitian, I'm I'm worried for her. I wish I could have talked to her before that, mm-hmm. because people don't realize that some of these diets can come with high risk. And the Atkins oh, yeah. diet is one of those. You can put a, when you're eating all that protein, a lot of pressure on your kidneys. Mm-hmm. And if anyone has been in a dialysis center and or knew someone that had to be on dialysis, you I you can't. You don't want to do it. that. No, you have to be hooked up to a machine for hours. You don't get to pee for days. So you have all that pee in your body that you're walking around. Just think if you didn't pee for three days, what that would be like, how you would oh, feel. Oh God, I can't even imagine. And that's what it means to not have your kidneys. I love my kidneys with everything. I've done the Atkins diet. I've lost a lot of weight mm-hmm. before in my lifetime. But after I learned that I could risk my kidneys for that diet. I said, you know what? My kidneys are too important to me. I'm not risking that. And then when you lose, burn all kinds of fat at one time, toxins are stored in your fat. So okay. if you quickly release all that fat, all those toxins go into your system. Okay, real quick. Uh, Rich, uh, one of the guys here uh, just gave me a little note, and I have the perfect answer for this. The question is, what if I have 20 extra cookies and five ice creams? You are going to look like Uncle Louie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you don't want to end up like my Uncle Louie, don't do that, right? What, what happened to your Uncle, Uncle Louie? My Uncle Louie, God rest him, I mean, he was the biggest man i ever seen in my life. He was bigger than my dad. I mean, he was huge. Kids, I'm saying gigantic. Italian, so you know all the pasta and the d, da 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 da. da. He loved his stuff, right? One day we wake up, we're done to go down to his house. He wasn't there no more. Bang, boom, boom. Middle of the night, major heart attack. That quick. That's what happened to my dad. So 